I'm Sarah Borks from Keto here in Los Angeles for Eat Well 2019, NARIT's annual conference. I'm joined today by Bobby Taubman, Chairman, President and CEO of Taubman Centers. Welcome, Bobby. Thank you, Sarah. I'm delighted to be here. So the bankruptcy of Forever 21 obviously had an impact in the third quarter. Can you talk a bit about how Taubman is adjusting to the situation and when do you expect the retail situation to settle somewhat? Well, actually, our occupancies are in pretty good shape. Uh, we're going to end the year uh, in the you know, near 95% range. So there's good demand in our shopping centers. Our leasing statistics are actually over 96% at this point. So we have a good spread uh, between the leased and the occupied. So notwithstanding a lot of bankruptcies, including Forever 21, our portfolio seems to be uh, rather healthy. And Taubman is also seeing many digitally native retailers turning to brick and mortar locations. How much of a tailwind do you expect that to produce? There's no question that the digitally native tenants are really starting to expand now. We actually have uh, almost two dozen different brands and over 70 different locations with those brands in our shopping centers. And independent studies have talked about the concentration that we have of these digitally native brands. They are the new emerging tenants. They all want brick and mortar locations. Many of these tenants that are, that are well known like Untucket or Casper, Bonibus, uh, Morby Parker, some of these guys now have over 100 locations, many of them embedded in, our, in regional malls. So we, we are seeing a new wave of emerging retailers uh, that are uh, based as digitally native uh, uh, operators who actually did not understand how good stores could be. But they now understand that and they're opening very quickly uh, many, many stores. And are you seeing an increase in luxury retailers' appetite to open new stores? Absolutely. L luxury is very strong. They're interested uh, in opening freestanding locations, not just being within other stores. Uh, the, the distribution of them is very important and in a freestanding store they can have full vertical distribution at retail. Uh, we have many, many situations uh, from Gucci to Vita to Balenciaga to Fendi, the Prada, all, all, the, all the brand names out there are going in many of our shopping centers both here as well as in Asia. And turning to Asia, can you provide an update on Talman's transactions with Blackstone as well as your new development in South Korea? Absolutely. We're delighted to have Blackstone become our partner in our Asian assets. Uh, we announced in February uh, that we hope to be closing the first phase of the transaction sometime mid-year. We did that when we closed about 60% of the expected proceeds uh, in July and we anticipated the fourth quarter we would close the other two assets that represented about 40% of the transaction and we're on track to do that by year end. Great. Bobby, thank you so much for coming. It's my pleasure, Sarah. Thank you. And for more on REIT World 2019, be sure to visit NearEAT's website, REIT.com.